Good morning and uh, a very warm welcome to my Sunday morning 11 o'clock poetry slot. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, today's a little bit of a cheat because I decided I wouldn't go uh, on Facebook live. I'd pre-record it because I'm having a little bit of a break. Um, today's poem is actually a poem that's been really inspired by something that I read this week. Um, about the school curriculum in English. Um, I did post it, so I'm not sure if any of you perhaps um, have read it. I know some other people did comment. Um, and I, I am utterly ugh, disappointed, I suppose, and it seems to me to be a big travesty to make it optional, um, to exclude the study of poetry, especially at this time when actually poetry is probably more important than ever um and so today's poem that, that, that i've chosen today is actually very much inspired by the thought that you know i hold a flag for poetry let's keep reading and writing and maintaining that imagination and you know probably more than ever at the moment the ability to use our imaginations is actually incredibly important we're all imagining I don't know, new futures, new ways of doing things that requires a huge amount of creativity and celebrating imagination because that's how innovation emerges as well. So I highly recommend that if you have young children, um, mm. that you encourage them and you share your own delight um, in poetry with them. Give them an opportunity to fully immerse themselves in the, in the metaphors and, and images. Um, so with that in mind, the poem I've chosen today is a very well-known poem by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, um, Kubla Khan. I'm sure a lot of you will already be familiar with it, um, but it very much is a dive into the nature of poetry itself and how we can actually create through our stories and through our writing and through our imaginations, we can create whole other worlds. Um, so I'm going to share that with you and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. It's Kubla Khan, or a vision in a dream, a fragment. In Xanadu did Kubla Khan a stately pleasure dome decree, where Alf, the sacred river, ran through caverns measureless to man down to a sunless sea. So twice five miles of fertile ground with walls and towers were girdled round and there were gardens bright with sinuous rills where blossomed many an incense bearing tree. And here were forests ancient as the hills enfolding sunny spots of greenery. But oh, that deep romantic chasm which slanted down the green hill athwart a cedarn cover, a savage place, as holy and enchanted as e'er beneath a waning moon was haunted by woman wailing for her demon lover. And from this chasm, with ceaseless turmoil seething, as if this earth in fast thick pants were breathing, a mighty fountain momently was forced, amid whose swift half intermitted burst huge fragments bolted like rebounding hail or chaffy grain beneath the thresher's flail. And amid these dancing rocks, at once and ever, it flung up momently the sacred river, five miles meandering with a mazy motion through wood and dale, the sacred river ran, then reached the cabinets measureless to man and sank in tumult to a lifeless ocean. And midst this tumult, Kubla heard from far ancestral voices prophesying war. The shadow of the dome of pleasure floated midway on the waves, where was heard the mingled measure from the fountain and the caves. It was a miracle of rare device, 
a sunny pleasure dome with caves of ice. A damsel with a dulcimer in a vision once I saw. It was an Abyssinian maid, and on her dulcimer she played, singing of Mount Abora. Could I revive with me her symphony and song? To such a deep delight twould win me, that with music loud and long, I would build that dome in air, that sunny dome, those caves of ice. And all who heard should see them there, and all should cry, beware, beware. His flashing eyes, his floating hair, weave a circle round him thrice. And close your eyes with holy dread, for he on honey youth has fed and drunk the milk of paradise. So that's my little offering uh, today on behalf of Samuel Taylor Coleridge. I hope that some of you will be writing and reading poetry and do, of course, uh, join us on our online creative writing workshops which are run by Claire Steele on the Tuesday evening and you can find out about those on my Facebook page. Um, love letters, creative writing. So um, thanks again for tuning in and uh, I hope I'll see you again next Sunday. Have a really lovely day and a good week. Bye. <laughs>